What's going on YouTube and Neverwinter community? Frank back at it again with another Neverwinter video. Um, this video we're going to talk about long-term investments that you can make while playing Neverwinter. Um, before we get into that, and, uh, I'm going to start this video off with a couple quick announcements as um, we've been doing for the last couple videos. First announcement is we hit 400 subs, so which means I'm giving away a $50 gift card. So in order to enter for that, you have to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel and you have to leave a comment on one of the many videos that you see. It doesn't have to be Neverwinter related, it could be any of them. Um, so go ahead and if you haven't already did that and you already are a subscriber, go ahead and comment. I will give you guys a couple of days to um, get your comments in and then I'll announce it on Twitter. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter to get the latest uh, announcements for the giveaway and streaming, I will put that... Uh, and the description below and uh, other thing is I'll be streaming every day if you guys want to check that out I will also leave that in the description below so um, we're gonna go ahead and get into the, the actual topic of this video which is long-term investments players can make and never winner now granted this is not <clears throat> for everyone this is for those dedicated people who are playing the game and are making the AD if you follow the other videos are making the extra AD and these are ways to to uh, prolong the uh, the AD grind and the uh, the progression of your characters. So um, we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. There's not gonna be a lot of topics. It's just something I want to discuss with you guys. Uh, things that I've done in the game to uh, to help the progression go faster. And um, again, you don't have to take this. I will leave um. Timestamps in the description below. So if you guys <clears throat> come to this video and you just want to hear the topics and if they don't apply to you, you can go ahead and skip it. So I'll leave those in the, the uh, description below so you guys can check them out. All right, the f this is all going to revolve around you having character slots. So uh, the first investment would be character slots. If you guys don't know what I mean, you can go to the Zen Market under Services. And there, there will be character slots right here. 500 Zen. You get two character slots for 500 Zen, which is not a lot. Not a lot of AD at all. 200K at this given rate. So 200K, you get two extra character slots. Um, what that does is it gives you extra inventory. So it's cheaper to get two character slots, which is 200K, than it would be to buy a runic bag. So you're basically making these characters as mules to either, right now, is going to be to carry salvage if you guys still believe that there's going to be a double AD. Again, this video is very, like, <clears throat> biased because I believe that Cryptic and the studio is going to bring out double AD. So I'm gearing up for that. I'm preparing for double AD, and it's just what I've been doing, what I've been accumulating throughout the, my time playing this. So again... If you guys don't think that they're going to bring out double AD, this video has everything to do with having double AD and character slots. So, um, inventory. You get more bags. You can create alt guilds. If you guys don't know what an alt guild is, you can create one of your characters. We'll go to the home screen here so I can show you guys. Basically, you create a character. You get four of your buddies to help you create a guild and you make said guild right now I have a, a guild called go go power levelers it's a guild that I made to power level people in the stronghold before power leveling became obsolete at the stronghold so I went ahead and ran with it um, you make the guild with five gold once you make the guild, you kick everyone out. And you, what you want to do is you want to buy repositories. This is another good investment. Repositories for your alt guild. The first section of the repository costs 150,000 AD. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys that. While this is loading in, we're going to keep talking about why you should have character slots. Not only for inventory purposes, but for praying. 
Everything's got increased by two levels. All the in weapon and armor enchantments got increased by one level. So from 13 to 14, it's 1%, and everyone's using Cold Wars. So if you're preying on at least all your characters once per day, you're getting those coins. And every 11 days, you can open a pack that may contain a Coalescent Ward to save you 300k. So um, that's another perk with having all these characters. Apologize for my slow mount. I'm not going to invest in an odd character for an odd guild. So here's my repositories. <clears throat> this one is filled up with all purple weapons and chest plate. This salvage for the most. It's salvage for about eight to nine K per. So you're talking almost twenty K per for double A D. So I, I made an alt guild not only for inventory spots for but for salvage. So I am accumulating salvage so when double A D if double A D comes out, I'll be ready. Um, one last thing about having extra tunes is professions. You can have um, all your characters do professions. Leadership is a good one. Alchemy is a good one. Accumulate yourself some refinement. So that <clears throat> is the first one that I would of the list of three that I would suggest. Character slots, not only even outside of guild. And outside of the uh, <clears throat> professions, it's still a good way to, to try to get cold words, and it's still a good way to uh, for inventory. Even if you don't want to buy the alt guilds, even if you don't want to invest time in professions, it's still a decent way. Um, the second thing we're going to talk about is the Dragonborn Race Pack. It's on the Zen Market right now. The bundle comes with... The Dragonborn Race, a Dragon uh, Horde Bag for each of your tunes. So you can invest 7,500 Zen, which at this given state is 3 mil on all your characters. So I ha right now I have 20 characters. If each person has a Dragon Horde Bag filled with the least amount of salv salvageable items, which right now is... 4,400 that accumulates just for that particular bag 132,000 AD on a regular day just for that bag. So if you times that by 20, you're talking 200 or 2.9 mil just in that particular bag for those characters. So I have 20 characters, the pack costs 3 mil, I fill all the bags up with salvage, I in return. Now this is just standard numbers. This is not based on double AD. My return is three mil, two point nine. So, if it's right now it's two point nine and double AD comes out, obviously it's going to be double. So those are things you guys can think about. I'm not saying go out and buy Zen, go out and buy the the Dragon Horde Zen pack, but uh, it is a good investment. I invested a lot of my AD when I the previous double AD was into um, weapons, into character slots, into alt guilds, into investments to prolong the uh, stability of your characters. So we have the Dragonborn Race Packs, and we have Extra Tunes. The last and final thing would be Zen Market Mounts. For those who don't know and those who never bought a mount from the Zen Market, if you buy a said mount, it is <clears throat> account unlocked. So you'll be able to get the Dust Unicorn on every tune you have for however many tunes you want to create. Um, a good example for this is the Lord's Armor Polar Bear. It's not going to show on here because I already bought it and I already claimed it. The Lord's Armor Polar Bear is, I want to say, <clears throat> probably one of the best investments for the, the uh, mounts here. It not only comes with Wondrous Fortune and Separate Devotion, but it comes with Gladiator's Guile. And you can get that on every tune. So if you're one of those people who are tired of their main and they want to create another character, a cleric, for say, Shepherd's Devotion is probably one of the most profound mount 
insignia bonuses in the game. Everybody wants you to use Separate Devotion because it helps you get through content faster. The very end game, if you're not running Shepherd's Devotion, they're probably not going to invite you. Because it's all about killing the mob, everyone activating Separate Devo Devotion, I'm sorry. Five stacks of that and your, your movement speed's up to 21,000. So you're just going from mob to mob, action canceling your daily to proc Shepherd's Devotion to get a lot of movement speed. A lot of you guys are going to be like, what, is it? what are you talking about, Frank? What do you, what do you want about? But that is, that's the gist of it. Um, there's a couple other good ones here. If you're looking for um, camaraderie, the uh, Train Grizzly is a good mount to get um, camaraderie on. Again, that is transferable to all your characters. That's a insignia bonus that everyone will be using, especially for DPS. Every DPS person should have a camaraderie on their tune, along with Shepherd's Devotion. It's it's a must-have. So, if you're looking for something like that, I would highly suggest Lord's Armor or the Train Grizzly. The Train Grizzly is a little less. Unfortunately, I don't have the prices here to tell you what the prices are because I already bought them, already claimed them, so they're on all my characters. So, um... That's pretty much it. If you guys think I missed something for the long-term investments, please let me know. I know this video is not going to appeal to everyone. The, a lot of people that are going to watch this aren't going to know what I'm talking about. They're going to think I'm crazy and I've lost it because I'm talking about Double AD that a lot of people think it will never come back. They haven't announced it, but they haven't said, hey, by the way, we're not doing Double AD anymore, kind of like they did with refinement. This is your last refinement. Take advantage of it while you can. Because you're no longer going to get it. I'm still waiting on that. So, if they never do it, I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on a couple mil. So, and if they do bring it out, and as we sit here, if Cryptic does bring out a double AD, I will be doing a legendary mount giveaway on my stream. But that will be in the future. Obviously, they have to announce it, and I have to break down all the salvage. As of right now, I'm probably sitting around just regular AD. 12 mil so if they bring that out i'm going to be close to 25 mil so i will do a legendary mount giveaway if they will bring it out i'm not trying to persuade them that obviously my opinions mean nothing to cryptic that's fine but i'm just letting you guys know if it does happen you heard it here first we'll be doing a legendary mount giveaway and uh i'm hoping to see you guys in the stream and the comments so if you guys want to register for that giveaway, make sure you leave a comment and you are a subscriber. It doesn't matter what video, just make sure you leave a comment somewhere in one of the videos. If you guys have any questions, please hit me up on my social medias or come to the stream and hang out. Like again, I will be streaming every day. I normally stream every day from 5 to 10. And then on my days off, I stream every day for the most part, unless there's something going on. So that's pretty much it. I know you guys are tired of hearing me ramble on, talk about nonsense that don't really pertain to you guys but uh, I just want to talk about some of the investments you guys can make towards the progression of your characters the progression of your Neverwinter career and so forth so if you guys like the comments or I'm sorry if you guys like the content please like comment subscribe it's your boy Frank signing out peace